What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear Gods Quality Control, we're going to be taking a look at the Orange AD200B Mark III base amp head. So the story behind the AD200B Mark III is that it's actually the only all-tube base amp head that Orange makes. The basic idea, according to Orange, is that it's the simplest possible signal path, the least amount of stuff going on inside, the purest possible tone that they could get for this amp. It's obviously got the super simple orange layout, just a master volume, bass, middle, and treble controls, and a gain control. Two inputs, one for active, one for passive, and that's it. So it looks simple on the outside. I'm gonna have to go ahead and take their word that it is simple on the inside, because I'm not about to crack the thing open. Um, I'm not an amp tech and I have no desire to die. We're just gonna mess with the sort of consumer level stuff that you can mess with on the front and see how it sounds. Today I'm using my Kiesel JBM5 multi-scale five string jazz bass. It is freshly strung with Ernie Ball strings. Right now the EQ is set to noon. Little bit of gain, little bit of master volume. Here's how that sounds. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the master volume down a scotch so that I can crank the gain all the way up and see what kind of gritty sounds that we can get out of this. So that sounds really good, but even with the gain all the way up, not a ton of grit. I'm gonna try a little trick that I like to do. Um, I'm using an active bass, but if I go into the passive input, it's gonna overdrive a little bit more. Just because uh, it's a little bit hotter of an input. All right, so we're gonna go back into the active input. Let's mess around with some of these controls and see what kind of sounds we can get. Here's with the treble all the way down. Here it is with the treble all the way up. Here it is with it back in the middle. Let's try scooping out the mids all the way. Here it is with the mids all the way up. I actually kind of like it with the mids scooped, personally. At least a little bit. Now here's with the bass all the way down on the bass amp. Not so bassy of a bass amp anymore. Not really sure why you would do that, but. Hey, why not? Here it is with the bass all the way up. Now I'm gonna try how I would probably set it with the bass up a little bit, the mids down a little bit, and a good bit of treble.
handles that low A pretty well. You can feel it, and it's reasonably well defined. That's hard to do. Of course, these are very fresh strings, so they're still pretty zingy, but that's pretty impressive to me. Let's try it with the bass down a bit and the mids up, treble down for sort of a woody kind of a thing. Let's try a somewhat jazzier type of tone. Please excuse my somewhat piss poor slap bass. Uh, it's not really my thing, but I wanted to make sure that you guys heard at least a little bit of what slap bass sounds like through this thing. To me, it sounds really good, super clean, but still really defined. That's one thing that I look for in a bass amp. It's gotta feel really full, but I've also gotta be able to hear everything really well. There's gotta be a lot of clarity. I've got the treble cranked up pretty good, of course. Still, like even some bass amps won't do that regardless of having plenty of treble in there, or it just sounds harsh or something like this. This one just sounds real clean. It's pretty, it's a pretty sound, um, but it's got a lot of balls. 200 watts might not sound like a lot, but this is an extremely loud amp. That's 200 big fat tube watts. It weighs a lot, as many orange tube heads do, and as they should. There's no question that this amp will rattle the nuggets of whatever crowd you're playing in front of and everyone else for pretty much a block in any direction. It doesn't have a ton of gain, as you heard. It's not that gritty, but it has the classic orange tone and the super simple orange control layouts as we've come to know and love from orange. So if what you're looking for is the pure sound of your bass and effects, just blasting through some tubes so that everybody in the neighborhood can hear it, the AD200B Mark III is probably the jam. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button, smack the bell, and drop us a like for more reviews and original content. And we'll see you real soon. Mm -hmm.